Sales of those global positioning system devices, better known as GPS, are booming, topping 10 million last year and headed toward 15 million this year. But as correspondent Bianca Solorzano tells us, GPS devices are also increasingly popular among thieves. In suburban Boston, opera singer Beth Shagershevsky often drives to rehearsals alone at night. I find a GPS is best um, to get me home safely, especially in you know, unfamiliar areas. Three months after spending $450 on her GPS, she found her car window broken, the GPS gone. We had left the GPS unit inside the glove box that night. The landlord downstairs heard the window smash in. Thieves in Jersey City, New Jersey were recently busted when undercover cops discovered dozens of stolen GPSs being sold in the back of a clothing store. They're bought for a fraction of the cost and then resold. In Boston, Houston, and Denver, the number of GPS thefts reported to police has quadrupled in just the last two years. There's been a spike in GPS thefts from Charlotte to New York. And outside Washington, D.C., Montgomery County, Maryland police saw more than 500 car break-ins in February alone. The main reason, they say, GPS thefts. The bad guys are breaking into the cars just because they see this. They don't have to see the whole thing. We need to remove the cradle unit. Don't leave that on the windshield of your car. You need to take this out of your car. Don't put it under your seat. Obviously, leaving a GPS on your windshield is asking for trouble, but police say another way to keep thieves from targeting your car is when you take the GPS out, make sure you wipe off any circle the suction cup may leave behind. The FBI says at least 29,000 GPSs were stolen over the past two years, but that's considered a fraction of the total because it counts them only when the owner can provide police the serial number. In most cases, without a serial number, you have no chance whatsoever of ever seeing a GPS again. Massachusetts police officer Tom Shea started a website called JustStolen.net to help people register and find their devices. He says leaving your GPS in the car is like leaving a $100 bill in plain sight. I think most people just can't be bothered with the aggravation of their running into the store for five minutes. Five minutes is all it takes. GPS manufacturers like Garmin and TomTom Tom are trying to make their products less tempting to steal. New models now require you to enter a four-digit PIN number to work. The hope being, if thieves know they can't use it, maybe they won't steal it. Main map. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, New York.